News tonight, more fallout after officers shot at an unarmed couple in New Haven. You're looking at surveillance video of the shooting that we received from a viewer. Hamden officer Devin Eaton and Yale officer Terrence Pollack are both on administrative leave. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Shante Passmore is live in Hamden now, where a march is underway. Shante? Dennis, yes. So activists will march from the Hamden Plaza all the way to the Hamden Police Department. Right now, at last check, they were gathering in the parking lot of that plaza, which is about half a mile away from where I'm standing. So what are they demanding now? Well, that Officer Devin Eaton be fired. Tonight marks the fourth day of demonstrations. Throughout the week, demonstrators have been demanding justice for Stephanie Washington and Paul Witherspoon. The unarmed black couple were caught up in an officer-involved shooting. An Eyewitness News viewer sent us this surveillance video. They say it captures the moment when police engage with the car they say match a description of one used in a reported attempted robbery in Hamden. In seconds, you see how Hamden officer Devin Eaton starts shooting into the car after boxing it in. State police Say Yale officer Terrence Pollock is also at the scene, but he's not captured on video. Officers shot Washington, but Witherspoon walked away with no injuries. Tonight, Witherspoon's uncle shares how his nephew is doing. He gonna be okay, you know what I mean? But um, as time go by, it's, it's impacting him that he basically almost lost his life. The incident created an outcry for more transparency and accountability. Right now, Yale officer Terrence Pollock and Hamden officer Devin Eaton are on administrative leave following the shooting. New Haven police were not immediately on scene. Activists say minority communities are often met with hostility from police. People who are unarmed, um, people who, uh, even if they were armed, um, are automatically being met. Um, with the level of violence, police are acting as judge, jury, and executioner on the streets. And right now, the state's attorney office is investigating this latest officer-involved shooting. Until further notice, Eaton will be on administrative leave, but demonstrators tell me they will be marching every day until he is fired again. That demonstration is expected to happen at any moment. Live in Hampton this evening, Shantae Passmore, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.